y'all. This is Skylar with Dancy Ridge Farm. Um, we have had a busy week. Um, this past weekend, we did our chickens, and so that was just a really big process. If you process chickens, and you understand what I'm saying. Um, and then we had regular farm duties, you know. Um, so we have been nose to the grindstone just getting stuff done and I had a farmer's market this weekend and I also decided let's tag a wedding onto it so I just got back from the wedding everything was beautiful turned out so gorgeous um, it was I love weddings I don't like to do them often because it's a little bit stressful but you know one or two a year and I'm like just enough to get those creative juices going and um, to be inspired again by weddings. So anyways, I just got home from that. Um, and Ethan has the tractor, backhoe, dump trailer, just a lot of things. He's out here and he's moving a lot of dirt, doing a lot of work. So I wanted to show y'all from the previous videos how different it looks already. All right, so I took a break for a little bit, do some chores. Figured I'd just talk through what the plan is and what we're doing. So this spot right here is gonna be where the shop is. So these trees are gonna come down. Probably gonna leave that one, just cut some of the bottom limbs off, but those have to come down. Um, Gonna need to rip up the old fence line with a couple small trees on it there. And then that dirt is gonna come down here to level this out. It slopes downhill that way. So we're gonna fill in and level this out getting ready for the shop. And then all these trees and that fence and brush are gonna get piled down there behind the barn to get burned where I was working on the excavator a little bit ago. We'll go down there and look at that. Now we're down here by the barn. More like junk shed. Looking back, so that's where the shop's gonna be. So these are the trees that are coming out. That's getting ripped up. And all that's getting piled back here once I finish cleaning out. So it was a bunch of old scrap metal and stuff back here in the bushes. We got that loaded up. Some of this is stuff that I've uh, I've been collecting for a while. Our air conditioner unit went out, so I'm gonna break that down and take it. But there was, a lot of, there was a lot of scrap metal back here. All kinds of trash. We're just going to try to get it cleaned up. Back. So our big massive pile of dirt's gone. The kids will be sad about that. That was from the dirt work for the driveway so they're moving that and they're basically creating the pad where Ethan's shop will go so that's where he's at out there that's where the big burn pile was so he got that burned down and now he's moving dirt to build the pad So Ethan has definitely made progress. It's just crazy to me how a couple of pieces of equipment and a little bit of help and you can just really, you know, get some stuff done in 
that they have been working really hard and doing that this weekend. Um, it's cleared a bunch of stuff out, moved a lot of dirt. It is just really transformed and you can really start seeing where things are going to go. And it's just uplifting to see progress and um, things moving along. He's moved a lot back here behind the barn. Um, it was a lot of brush, a lot of trash. I don't know why, just, and I've seen it on several properties before where there's just piles of random trash everywhere, just like people's dump sites. And there's lots of places on this property that are like that. So we will have a time um, slowly working through and cleaning all that up. So there's a lot of that back here, um, an old dog fence, dog wire everywhere. I used to run dogs on this place a lot, train them. Um, so just having to work with overgrown fencing is a pain. Um, but Ethan has made a lot of progress back here. I've never seen it so clear to just be able to look through the property and see things that you didn't see. Um, my eyes are having a hard time adjusting, I think. So Ethan's doing all this work. And y'all saw where the pigs were. He's just kind of moved them back a little bit. Um, you can see their fence, so they're kind of pushed back. And I mean, they don't mind any of this ruckus. They're just, I see them over there. They're just hanging out. You can't really see them. They're back there. Um, they're just nonchalant. They don't really care. So I'm assuming this will be the next burn pile. <laughs> Hey, when you're doing all this dirt work, you gotta have a place to put it off. I know y'all see all of this and I just want you to be encouraged because this is little bites that we're taking out every weekend or every other weekend or a little here or a little there. This is not something that we're doing and it's um, just overnight. Ethan has a full-time job and he is just doing what he can. Most of this equipment was either rented or a friend was very nice to let us borrow it. Um, we don't own any of this stuff. Our place didn't come with any existing infrastructure. So everything that we're doing, we're building from the ground up and it's taken a lot of in intentionality and planning and just trying to figure it out as we go so we're building a farm we're literally building our farm and we're really excited about it we've been doing a lot of dirt work are you doing some dirt work too sweetie yeah. And then in the dump truck. And lift it up and dump it in. Right. And, and then you're going to take the dump truck? Where are you going to take the dump truck? To the dirt's home. To the dirt's home. A lot. I left that pecan tree. Mm -hmm. I actually, there was one in between those two sweet gums that I left. I accidentally started ripping it up and then realized it was a pecan. But that's all right. I know it seems like we're just doing so much, and we are. Um, but we also try to make sure that in the midst of doing all this, like we're still living life. We're still spending time together. We're still building together. And that, that part matters. It's not always just trying to get to the next thing and the next thing it's, um, we're building and that's part of the journey. And sometimes it's really hard to remember that. Um, but then we take moments like this to just spend together and you can be reminded that, um, we're doing this together and it was our decision and it's just a beautiful thing.
All right, y'all, I got him out here. He had to stop and do farm chores. <laughs> so I got him out here and he's gonna tell us his plan behind everything. And we're gonna get this leveled up, let it get good and settled. Then we'll come back and put some field dirt on top of it. And then all that wood right there is the future shop. Um, some of that wood's for the carport actually, but most of it's for the shop. Those are trees that got cut out here, out of these pines. And we hired a guy to come help us mill them. And it, um, I feel like when people see dirt work, they just say, oh, cool, dirt work. <laughs> but it's very hard to imagine what it looked like before. But this is yeah. so clear it's, and clean um, compared to there were a bunch of trees right there. Those yeah, tree, tree line. line. There was a bunch of trees. That was a big area of trees. Yeah, right that over there. there. Pine. We only left the pine. And then that fence the, line. This is where the burn pile was. Yeah, too. the burn pile was here. And there was a tree. Oh, well, there were two trees there that are gone. Um, yeah, I feel like it's somewhat hard for other people to imagine how much work you did, but it is. So much, and then I showed y'all behind the barn how much you cleared out, and he's cleared out even more since I've made that video. But it's a lot. You worked your tail off today. <laughs> Gotta Renting get... an excavator is absolutely worth it. Yeah, he wants an excavator one day, guys. I uh, sure do. <laughs> Put that on the wish list. So this is the man behind all the work on this farm. He's done everything. He's building everything from the ground up. He doesn't know what he's doing half the time, but we do it anyways. <laughs> that's not a, that's a lie. I wouldn't say you don't know what you're doing. You do know what you're doing, but a lot of things are. Figure it out as you go. Figure it out as you go. Well, not entirely. I mean. I mean, you do have most, a lot of head knowledge. Yeah, and most of the stuff that I'm working on has been played through in my head. Yeah, you've went months. through it a million times, yeah. I'm sure. Years sometimes. Yeah, of, of how you want it to be. And now it's time to put certain things in action. You've done the thinking part, now it's the doing part on some of it. And sometimes you've got it all figured out in your head, but then you start doing and you see some things and you make little changes. I mean, like this dirt work. You you start you you envision how it's gonna go and then you start feel it feeling and then you realize you need to push the dirt a lot further or you need to turn it a little bit or your your hill has a different slope to it than you thought and you gotta tweak some things but <laughs> figure it out while you're while you're working on it. Yeah. You do a good job of it. Thanks. <laughs> 